Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting the video random, but we're cleaning my makeup brushes, and I figured I would show you because whenever I do this, it's the most satisfying thing. It's been way too damn long since I've done this. I used to be the person that, like, never ever ever clean to their makeup brushes but this makeup brush cleaner makes it really easy it's called cinema secrets it's a little bit pricey but it's so worth it trust me taking care of your skin it is worth the investment you don't want to use bacteria filled brushes and i've had this for a really long time so it's lasted me super long i think this bottle is like 30 dollars maybe a little bit more so i put it in a little tupperware and by the way, I believe they sell it on Amazon, so I'll have it in my Amazon store. So let me show you like a really awfully dirty brush. And you just use paper towels so that it's super sanitary. Let's do this one. This is my bronzer brush. So you just dip it in to the cleaner. And then, ready for this? <laughs> you just go like this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wipe it on on there. And it smells so good. Like, you can really tell that your brush is getting nice and cleaned. It's so beyond satisfying. And don't worry, I'm gonna wipe down this counter after I'm done. Look at that, super clean. I'm gonna do a tiny bit more just to make sure that it's clean. A little bit goes a long way. I actually probably just over dipped it, honestly. I haven't done this in a while, but I'm curious to see too, like this is how full I have the Tupperware, so. I want to see if that lasts me through all of my brushes. I have my regular makeup brushes here, and then over here I have like my self-tanning brushes. When I self-tan, I use a brush for my face, my hands, and my feet, and it's just like you want to clean them. I, I try to do it every time, but I forget, but you definitely should clean them often. Makeup, I let go a little longer than I should. And the beautiful thing about this is wipe it off, and now you don't have to let it dry. It's done. So I'm going to go ahead and take these all out, and we'll put the clean ones back in. We got a podcast episode done this morning, so that felt really productive. I've been looking online also for a new table and chairs, possibly maybe just new chairs, and I definitely want a new rug for there, right here I'm talking about in the kitchen, and then I want new decor for up here, so I've just been browsing the internet. I really want just like a simple neutral rug, and it's so hard to find like one that I want. Like I, I don't want really a pattern on it. I might settle for one. We shall see. I just want one that's really, really simple. And I've found some really pretty jute rugs, but some of the reviews say that they shed and then a lot of them are sold out in a 5x8 or a 5x7 because it's just a really popular size. So I've been on the hunt. I've been looking for a new rug and I just don't know what kind of style I want to go with for the table. I'm trying to like learn. I was actually like looking at blogs on like how to like color match and everything. So I want it to look nice in here. By the way, two of our chairs are broken. They just weren't very um, high quality chairs. And yeah, we could fix them, but like, you know your girl likes change, so I'm gonna wanna upgrade anyway, so might as well, I'd rather do that. Especially with this pandemic during like fall and winter time, we're still gonna be like stuck. Uh oh, is this ruining the counters? Hang on, I'm gonna get a rag to put under. I'm scared that this is ruining the countertop. I'm just gonna put a rag down and then use the paper towels on top. Anyways, especially during the pandemic, we're gonna be still inside in the fall and winter, so it'll give me something to do to kind of revamp, redecorate, you know, refresh everything. I'm just excited to have a little bit of change of, of pace up in here, you know? I used to sit at the sink and wash my brushes with shampoo and my hands would be raisins by the end of it and then I would have to let them all dry. It was just such a pain in the butt. But anyways, now this just makes it so, 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 so easy. Also, if you guys saw the recent vlog where I got those giant picture frames for the hallway, I came up with a great idea for them. It was something that I've been wanting to do, which is a little photo shoot with Zane outside in our new little backyard area. I've just been waiting for kind of like more fall weather so that we can go outside and it'll be like cool outside and do like a cute like photo shoot by like the fireplace. But I think that would be such an adorable use for those photos to like blow them up really big and then put them in those giant frames in black and white. How cute would that be? Like so cute and cozy for like the fall and winter time. Wow, look how pretty that is. This is like a shimmery eyeshadow brush. So yeah, that's the plan. So it won't be for a little while because it is hot, 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 hot here. But I might hang them up just in the mean... Hello? I might hang them up in the meantime 
and then fill them whenever we take the pictures. But I'm so glad that I came up with that idea because I'm like, what am I gonna put in those freaking picture frames? They're massive, but I just think that'll be adorable. Even if we did like not every single frame, Zane and I, like one of them could be like of the flame of the fire. Like that could be cool, like to like separate it. I don't know, we'll see what I wanna do. Also, I have been looking for over here. If you guys remember, I put like the three cats here. Well, sorry. I have Bella and then Bella and Benji and then Benji on the bottom. So I want to add Bailey. I didn't forget. I'm just trying to find similar frames. I haven't looked online, but I've looked in stores when I've been in a store and I haven't found anything yet. I'll even get something that's a little different. It doesn't have to be the exact frame because I got those at like Marshalls or something. So the likelihood of me finding them again is like slim to none. So I can like alternate. If I get two that are different white squares, I can do like one each, you know? All right, let's clean these brushes. So I've been cleaning them on the paper towels and then like kind of drying it off on the rag. I feel like it's a good system. And the reason I use paper towels is because if you keep going over this rag, it's gonna fill up really quickly, A, and it's not gonna clean them very well. And like I said, your skin's important. So you don't go through very many paper towels, but it's just worth it. I actually really like having a rag under it though. It feels better and it's easier to dry them. Look at that. Oh my God. It's like painting the paper towel. Which one is this? Oh, this is my um, cream contour brush. Alright, there you have it, you guys. I used literally like three or four paper towels and they are all clean and I used like literally every last bit of that brush cleaner. But look how amazing they look now. So much better and they smell amazing. Now I'm gonna do my self-tanner brushes, which I usually just do with like soap and water. So I'm curious to see how this works out. Okay, here we go. Hmm, it's working, but I feel like soap and water is better for the tanner brushes. Yeah, wow, not much. When I put this under soap and water, it like comes out green or really red and not much is coming off of here now. So, all right, now we know. I'll only use this stuff for my makeup brushes, that's fine. <laughs> All right, I just wiped down the counter and usually I do this either in the bathroom or the office and I think that it just didn't mix well with our table. It's still kind of wet from when I cleaned it, but there's like a texture here. So I hope that when it's fully dry, you can't like tell. Messed that one up, okay. Okay, okay, we got that task done and now um, today's like an afternoon vlog. I picked up the camera pretty late in the day. So we're already gonna make some dinner, but you guys like the cooking anyway. I love the cooking, so why not get to it pretty early on. Tonight we are gonna make dun -dun -dun, some HelloFresh. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video, HelloFresh. You guys know I love them. In my box, I got this figgy balsamic pork, and then I also got this tilapia with scallion sriracha pesto, and tonight we are making these saucy steak burrito bowls. Oh my god, look at that. I made this one yesterday, and it was to die for. It was amazing. Highly, highly, highly recommend. So, so good. If you are not familiar with HelloFresh, they are America's number one meal kit. It comes already pre-measured, pre-packaged in these little baggies, and you've got your card right here. You've got the picture, ingredients, and then six easy steps on the back. There's something for everybody as well. They have low calorie, they have vegetarian, they have family plans. So we've got all the ingredients are pre-measured exactly what you need. So it saves the stressful trips to the grocery store. It saves you wasting any food. And you can get food on the table in about 30 minutes. And with their quick and easy options, you can get food on the table in 20 minutes. HelloFresh is really, really flexible as well. So if you need to skip a week you can if you want to add something onto your meals you can add in extra proteins or change your delivery dates it's very very easy to do and they donated 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019 and they are planning to do more in 2020 which is just amazing so if you're not ready to cook after all that I don't know when you will be this is like foolproof you guys you got to follow the instructions you don't have to measure anything even if you're really terrible at cooking I bet you you can make this work so let's get Cooking. I am so excited. I got Zane joining me tonight to make some dinner. What's up? What's up? What are we cooking? Good looking. We love cooking together. Saucy steak burrito bowl. Whew, this looks fire. This right. looks right up our alley. I like know, a right? Mexican steak burrito bowl style. Saucy? Anything with saucy in the title? Like Text map. I want it. Fact. Anything with what is this? Smoky red pepper crema. Whew. I know, right? I'm excited. Getting out my trusty dusty, it's not dusty, but you know what I mean. Cookbook stand, put the little card on here. So cute. In a small pot, 
combine rice, water, salt. Bring to a boil. Reduce to a low simmer. Cook until it's center, 15 to 18 minutes. Keep covered, all heat until ready to serve. Beautiful. You get the rice done, I will start prepping the veggies. That's my favorite part of cooking. I love chopping stuff up. Ever since I got my knife though, that's that's when I became very excited. <laughs> Look, we have salt. Salting the water, right? That's what it said? Oh, three quarters cup of water, sorry. Is that for for four servings is one oh, and a half cup? Sorry, sorry. I mean, this is not one and a half. But. Sorry, baby. Maybe it's okay. <laughs> Washing all of this. You know what? Mm. Getting fancy. Breaking out the giant cutting board. It's just so much nicer. Oh, I love this knife, man. It makes cutting so much easier. It's so fun. It's like butter. It, it feels like literally. Even better than butter. <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> I might mistake this tomato for butter. This tomato actually smells good, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Roma tomatoes are similar to the um, little babies. In the garden. Yeah. Crazy, you only need uh, one and a half cups of water for this much rice. So then you shouldn't have to strain rice. Like if you have to strain your rice, oh. you made it wrong. Yeah. Oh, this is supposed to go in a bowl. Yeah, it's, it's the salsa. Yeah. I've become such a chef babe. I never have the habit of holding my knife like that anymore. Really? Yeah, it's just natural to me to hold it right. Look at you! Yeah. Damn, you cut all those tomatoes already. That would have took me like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get them in here. Or we could use that um, mixing bowl up there if you want. You think this isn't big enough? Yeah, I would use that. Okay. I love that one anyway. I don't know why. That's a lot of tomatoes. Yeah, let's get them all in there. Yum. I actually think this looks good. <laughs> Super fresh ingredients. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it, it, seriously. All their stuff is so fresh. Their scallions are so much better than the little ones. Really? Mm -hmm. Can't we try our scallions? They're okay. They're not growing like strong. They're like weak. Uh huh. I don't think it's worth it. I think it might be too hot right now for actually for growing. Okay, that can go aside. I can go so much faster if you tell me what to do. Okay. Wash and dry all the produce. You cut the tomato. Now it's having and peeling and cutting an onion. Dicing. It says half cut onion into half inch thick wedges. Wedges. And then it says mince one wedge until you have one tablespoon. It smells great. There's nothing like an onion, man. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to fill. Okay, you guys, so we've got our tomatoes and onions minced, and then we've got two poblano peppers, and then the rest of the red onion. I just used one wedge and then diced it and put it into the tomatoes, and then I just zested a lime for the first time. Never zested anything before. I don't know if this is a small grater or a zester, but I guess it did its job a little bit. So we've got that there, and now the rice is done. We just cooked regular plain white rice, jasmine rice, that's what came with the HelloFresh. Then we've got a teaspoon of olive oil, and now we are going to put in the onions and peppers for... Oh, with salt, season with salt, on medium, high, cook, stirring occasionally until softened for seven to nine minutes. Okay. Yeah, I really want to go to the movies. Why do I keep, like, getting, like, a vision of going to the movies? We can set you up here. We can make it really cool. We get, like, a nice movie. Yeah. I'll look it up. I'll see if there's a good movie that we can get that you'll like. You're going to have to break these onions up. Okay. Seven minutes and 30 seconds. Sorry. Wow, this yeah. smells good. <laughs> Yum! Yo, peppers for me are underrated. I love peppers. I need to like, utilize them more. Yeah, you do. I love peppers. Okay, my turn. Okay, I got the zest. Now, I'm gonna add a whole lime to our tomato salsa. I'm gonna use a little lime press, or lemon press. Yes, please. You know what's actually crazy? How much comes out of like a lime and lemon? I always thought it wasn't a lot. I know, you can get a lot yeah. out of just one lemon or yeah. one lime. Yeah. It's crazy. Especially if you use this thing. Okay, so they have red pepper crema that goes in the bowl and then you stir in water one teaspoon at a time until it reaches a drizzling consistency. I'm gonna put my big girl pants on today and we're gonna eat the tomato. 
Yeah. What does it smell like? It smells like the, the crema that Ever would use. It smells really good. It's not, it smells like um, sour cream almost. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to chop our cilantro. Yo, after watching Undercover Boss, I definitely think that when I was younger, I should have worked in like a Domino's or like a restaurant. Why? It would have been fun. I would have loved, I love cooking, like making yeah. pizzas and like getting people's orders. I would have loved doing that. Yeah, that's so true. Big pinch of salt. Yeah. Then I have the certain stuff. Okay, updates. We took off the onions and peppers and just set them aside on a plate. And then in the same pan, we did some oil and then the diced steak. And we're just cooking that up. Once that is done, we're going to add this Tex-Mex paste. Oh my God, it looks so good. We also made the little crema that goes on the side. This is a red chili crema, I believe. Let me see. Smoky red pepper crema. I'm probably saying that's so bad. <laughs> but you just mix a teaspoon of water with it to make it like a kind of consistency that you can like drizzle. And yeah, I just chopped up the cilantro. Steak is almost ready. We're doing pretty well here. Bailey. <laughs> What's up? Tex Mex paste going in. Quarter cup of water. My stir. And my stir. This has been brought to a simmer. Cook until the mixture is saucy and steak is cooked through. One to two minutes more. Okay, while the steak is cooking, we just fluffed up the rice with a fork and now we are adding about two tablespoons of can't believe it's not butter. Mix that in there. And then we're also adding the lime zest. About half of the cilantro that I chopped up. And then salt and pepper. Yum! I'm gonna do one cup of rice. Gotta get those veggies on there. Yes, please. I like a lot of vegetables. Some steak. Some of the crema is gonna go on top. Can I say cream? I sound so terrible saying cream. crema. 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 I'm probably butchering it too. Crema. I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoons of that. At least we're not saying creme. Cre crema. Crema. <laughs> Lantro for the fans. You say lantro? Little lantro. I like that. <laughs> and remaining sauce from the pan. Oh yes. Ready. Love sauce. Okay, on it. And there you have it. That looks so good. Hold on, Zane's yelling at me. I forgot the salsa. She tried getting away with it, you guys. I did. She's like, ah, no tomatoes. <laughs> nope. Got having, your tomatoes. I'm having the tomatoes, okay. Good. Yummy. Okay. We're not eating just yet though, you guys. We're going on another little date night if you watched the other vlog from the other day. So I'm going to just cover mine up. That way it stays nice and warm. I feel like I'm yelling. The fan is so loud. Oh. And there we go. Zane put his in a Tupperware. I wanted mine in a bowl. It was so nice when we went the other night, but we missed the sunset. And this time we're actually on time and we're gonna bring a sheet and we're gonna actually sit on the beach rather than sitting in the car and make it like a cute little date night. So I'm excited. Let's go try it. All right, we have made it to the destination. We're gonna put our food in a bag. Oh, my bowl. Sorry. We made it at Golden Hour. It is so pretty. Zane's mom got us these homemade masks from somebody that I think she's like friends with on Facebook. Got little giraffes on it. Zane got a black one. I had to double it on my ear because it's a little big, so that's why it looks like that. But we're ready? Yeah. I just smiled like to the camera. Like, oh, <laughs> you think you can't see the smile. Yay, it's so nice. It's probably so windy you can't even hear. Uh oh. We're falling out. We have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again Well, as you guys can tell, it was way too windy for you to hear anything that we were saying at all. But as you can tell by our reactions, it was so, 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 so good. We talk about it more in the car and it got my happy dance. So, you know, it's Alyssa approved. It was delicious, you guys. I highly recommend. If you guys are interested in grabbing yourself some HelloFresh, use my code 80 Alyssa Rose to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. Again, use my code 80 Alyssa Rose to get a total of $80 off, including free shipping on your first box with purchase. Go to HelloFresh.com to redeem and for more details. We 
with fun Or do we hit the bottom And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again Falling down, we fade in But I know, I know that we can save it Holy guacamole. I think that was my favorite HelloFresh meal, honestly. Yeah, you guys. I was eating it with Liz and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. This is the best HelloFresh meal we've gotten. With a close second being the, the mushroom, mushroom chicken. chicken. That's a close second. And we don't even love mushrooms and that ish was bomb. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else have we made from HelloFresh. The reason I loved this one so much was because we love Tex-Mex food just to begin with. And I'm like eating, mm, I don't want to say healthy, but I'm like tracking my We're macros tracking and calories. stuff. We're tracking calories. We're definitely not eating healthy. We're tracking calories. Yeah. And I don't know. I just feel like that was an easy meal to track. It tasted amazing. I already love Tex-Mex. The, the crema sauce. Crema sauce. Crema. Um, that made it for me. That yeah. was that, that was it for me. Mm -hmm. The crema sauce did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was the crema sauce uh, for me. It was the crema sauce <laughs> for me. Crema. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm sorry. Cre crema. The crema. The, the cream. The cream sauce. Yeah, it was freaking bomb. It tasted like a really fancy Chipotle bowl. Super fresh. Yeah. The lime juice. And I didn't even, I liked the tomatoes. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Fire. Who would have thought? That's steak. But now. But now. We're going to try what we tried to do last time we went by the beach. And we're going to try to stop at Ralph's Italian Ices. If you're a West Coaster, sorry, you're going to have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. We tried to go last time and there was just a herd of people. Yeah. And because of COVID, you know, sure, New York's doing better. But for us personally, it's just like, eh. Yeah, but the it's herd, not that serious for The us. herd had no masks on. Yeah. The, it was an unprotected herd. So we had to make a call. And I said, you know what? Ices are not that important. We have dessert at home. Yeah. So we're going to try, we'll see try our luck busy. tonight. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Camera's going to die. I don't ever say that for the ice cream. Bye. Guess what? We just pulled up and people are online with their masks on. Perfect. Last time it was just like a group of like children with no masks on. Where is it? Right here. There we go. Nope. That's a napkin. There we go. Cold and wet. It smells like burritos. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna get? Oh, that. Yeah, the... Malibu Bay Breeze. Yeah. Got our ices and we decided to come into our little oasis to enjoy. <laughs> I call it, I don't call it Oasis, There's I call it a thing. sanctuary. Because you just said we went to our okay. Oasis. Mm. I love you, I'm just busting your chops. I love you more, go turn our lights on. Okay, we are home, just went inside and like washed our hands and stuff. And now we're ready to enjoy our ices. I got a birthday cake cream ice. Zane got a Malibu Bay, Bri Malibu Bay Breeze water ice, which he loves. Am I putting it on the fire? Nah, it's warm. It's too warm? Yeah. But the lights and everything are perfect. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So you're in your can get warm enough for me today. I am. Look how nummy that looks. Birthday cake? They had so many good options. Go off light. It's ruining the ambiance. Is it? Okay, oh, yeah. I'm so excited to try this. Mmm. Bomb? Mm hmm. They've changed their like branding. I feel like. I don't remember. It has sprinkles in it. No wanting sprinkles. They had an apple crumb, they had cookies and cream, cream ice. This is so good. This tastes like vacation. See the difference? Yours is like scrapey. Mine's like, like More like ice cream. Yeah. yeah. This feels like refreshing. Mm. Super bomb. What a good way to end a little date night. Cool. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, I'm just got brain freeze. I hate brain freeze. This happens before, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just actually have ever gotten a brain freeze. I've never seen you get brain freeze. You don't really indulge in super cold stuff like that, I feel like. Hey, you got a manageable piece. But I don't get brain freeze. Look at that chunk. What is that? Is that cake? No way. No, it's icing. What? Just love you. We should put that cover in the bin if we're not going to put it on. Let's check the weather. I think it's going to be good until Thursday. It's more than Thursday. What? You're at Thursday. I did. Should be good until Thursday. Mm. Then with the weather. But it changes so often, you never really know. Mm-hmm. Want to try this one? Sure. 
Wow. It's very similar to a real birthday cake, yo. I would like this. Like, it tastes like frosting. Cake. I want it to taste like. Yeah, no, I want it to taste like cake batter. Do you have cake batter ice cream? Yeah, I have cake batter ice cream. That's what Kinda. I was expecting. There's a frosting. Yeah. It's okay. It's good, but next time I'll try something different. Got on my shirt. That makes it a three out of 10, honestly. <laughs> it was all right, not my favorite thing that I've gotten from Ralph's. Um, tasted a lot like icing, and I wanted more of like a cake batter taste, but I still ate it all. <laughs> but next time I'll try something different. Anywho, see, I wanna give you guys a little plant update because I am very proud and I have to water them anyway, so here we go. I just filled up my watering can inside. Let me make the light go off so that you can see. There we go. Basil is absolutely thriving. She came back to life. Took out the cilantro because um, as you guys said on my Instagram story, you were like, ah, have fun, but it might die because it's been too hot. And yeah, she died. It's like out of season, I think. So anyways, scallions are doing great. I actually need to harvest a few of these. Harvest, that word sounds so funny. I don't know why they're growing so weak. Like, I feel like the ones that I get at the grocery store are like more firm and these are like so floppy, but they're doing well. I moved the shishito peppers over to where the cilantro was because it was getting pretty big. Right now, they're a little wilted because it was hot today, but I'm about to give them some water. But check this out, you guys. This is like the most I've grown anything. Look at this freaking pepper. It is so, oh, hold on, okay. <laughs> this pepper is so big. We've got one here, got one up here, another one here. Look, there's, oh my God, there's one back there. There are so many peppers growing. Look how cute they are when they first start out. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Look how little, do you guys see that? That's so little. Just adorable. I'm honestly like obsessed with this. I think next year I'm gonna grow more like veggies rather than so many herbs. Maybe just like a few herbs, but the veggies are way more fun when you see them start to sprout. This is the jalapeno plant. It is massive. I might have to replant it, but I think they're finally starting to spread here. And here, spread, I meant sprout. There's a freaking spider, oh hell to the no! I hate them. All my herbs are doing swell, and then our tomatoes are also doing great. Can you see all that red in there? I don't know how to tell when they're ready, because last week I picked one off that like, I didn't even mean to, I meant to look at it and it just fell right off, so I was like, oh okay, I guess it's ready. But it was so sour, it definitely wasn't ready. So I'm gonna give them their time to grow, but they're doing great, there's a bunch of red. My lettuce is also looking fantabulous. This I regrew myself. I don't know if I told you guys, but this was literally like a head of romaine lettuce that I just put the bottom into a pot and it's growing, so that's pretty cool. And then this is my Japanese eggplant. I don't think anything is sprouting on here just yet. I keep getting flowers, but they're not turning into eggplants, so um, we'll hope for the best for this one. Why are there so many damn spiders? Oh, <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna water now. <laughs> Enough bugginess for me tonight, folks. I don't like it. Ugh. Look how freaking cute, though. I'm so proud of my plants. They're thriving. Oh my god, I keep feeling bugs. Okay, I'm going inside. Look at our little slug friends. Hello, sluggies. Oh my god. One, two, three. Oh, I'm out of here. It's enough. Enough to go inside. Hi. Last night we lost power for a little bit. I don't know why. I think they were like working on. Um, getting other people's power back that lost it from the hurricane and so we were sitting outside and I was like oh let me go turn the lights on that would be cute and neither Zane or his brother said oh wait there's no electricity you can't plug the lights in and I literally walked all the way inside plugged them in I was like why aren't they turning on duh because we don't have electricity I walked outside I was like neither of you noticed and like honestly it just went over our head <laughs> oh my god all three of my babies are right here that is the sweetest thing ever hi Bailey what do you smell Spiders? What do you smell? I love you. Oh my goodness, I love you. Oh my goodness, I love you. Oh my goodness, I love you. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot of breakers down, I know we are Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega.
so it is uh, most definitely Zane's turn for dishes. I just did those two just so that they don't sit in the sink, but um, I'm off the hook for tonight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to get a few TikToks done today. I had a few on my list and I didn't get to any. And I'm such a plan person that like, it depends on the situation. But day to day life, I really like to have routine and a plan. Otherwise I go nuts. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Good because it keeps me productive, but also a bad thing because if things go a little bit differently, it like gives me high anxiety. So um, yeah, I don't like that I didn't get any TikToks done today because that was part of the plan. But lesson for you guys, sometimes the days don't go as planned and that's okay. Like sometimes you have to pivot and it's okay because I got this one right here. You, you relieve my anxiousness. You do. When I hold you, I feel no stress. None at all. Anyways, point being of what I was trying to say is sometimes life doesn't go as planned and you gotta just accept it and move on for what it is. Even if it's something as simple as not getting what was done on your to-do list. Something as stupid as a TikTok. I mean, it's part of furthering my career, but still. What I did do that you guys didn't get to see is after I tidied up from dinner, I practiced one of the dances that I want to do and I, I didn't film it because I just want to look like a freaking idiot. <laughs> but I want to do the hood baby dance. There's like this cute little remix on there and the dance is simple moves itself but you have to move really quickly and I'm not a good dancer at all but it's really fun for me to try. And you get a good cardio workout, honestly. I started to break a sweat. So that was really fun, but um, I'm definitely not there yet to do that dance. And it sucks because I actually kind of really liked my makeup today, but that's okay. There's always another day. I think I have to do it when I'm not vlogging. Or just like more time in the day. You know what actually threw me off today is I self tanned in the morning. So I had to wait six hours to wash it off. And then I started the vlog after that. That's what threw me off because I should have tanned yesterday and I didn't. I had a lazy day. So that's okay. See? Pivot because I was lazy the day before. Okay. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. Ow. Give me this baby. I love this baby. So one of the TikToks on my list was a singing TikTok and it was one that you guys requested. It's the one that I put on Bailey's story video and um, I saw some people saying like, you should have sang it or you need to cover this song. So I'm gonna attempt to make this TikTok right now. If it succeeded, then you will see it on my TikTok. <laughs> By the way, that video of Bailey that me and Zane were like, oh my God, that's gonna like go big. Hopefully. It wasn't for a while. Now it's at 163k, which is really cool. And I hit 20,000 followers on TikTok, so thank you. I just noticed that just now, literally. Water up. Water up, Bailey. Let's try and record this. And if not, we're gonna start over tomorrow because today was just one of those days, you know? <laughs> I literally feel like I'm bipolar because I was about to be like, well, but also I have to give myself credit because I did do a podcast this morning and I got to film a brand deal and I got to vlog and I got to cook and I self tanned we got some stuff done I cleaned all my makeup brushes give yourself credit I'm going I'm going nuts I'm going nuts Bailey where are we gonna put my phone can it balance on this lotion bottle nope I don't know if I will get copyrighted for this though that's the thing <laughs> so I don't know if I can play it oh shit I don't have this ready Oh, and low battery. Every hour we spend together lives within my heart. Okay, my timing is a little bit off on some of them. So, it's, I'm not going to get it perfect because I'm not a professional singer, but Bailey and Benji were messing the whole time. And I actually think the vibes would be better. No light. <laughs> Ooh, vibes. Okay, this is way better. <clears throat> Can we sing it? on beat is the question. Just she and I together like it was meant to be. No and no and no. Let's be better. Be better. Hey you, be better. Hey cats, don't fight in the background please. Thank you. We did it, we did it, we did it, you guys. I finally got it. It's not perfect. I couldn't get my timing right on that song for some reason, but I was not about to sit there until I got it spot on because I would be here all night. So it is up now. I will leave my TikTok down below if you want to go follow me there. Now I feel better that I can check something else off of my checklist today. Feels good. Today's notification shout out goes to Courtney McDaniel. She set notifications on. What's on your must-have checklist for you and Zane's forever home? Like first floor laundry, big backyard, fireplace, etc. I don't know if I can 
can speak for Zane, but for him, I would assume that I know he definitely wants like a really nice studio room for him to um, produce in. And then I would also assume that he would want like a big garage because he's um, super into cars. That would just be my assumption. We would have to ask him. But for me, I know I definitely want a large closet and I just gurgling. Definitely a really nice kitchen because you guys know obviously I cook every single day and I freaking love it. So I want like a nice pantry, I want a beautiful island, I want a lot of cabinet space. I absolutely freaking love our kitchen now so I'll take anything up to par or better. Those are the two main things that I 100% want is a really nice kitchen and a big walk-in closet. Other little things that I would want would be a laundry room. I would want a decent sized backyard, but I don't really want like acres of land or anything crazy i would like a double shower head i think that would be really cool but these are all things that are like that would be cool definitely not necessities that i would really really want i don't know if you guys watch lauren geraldo she has easily become my favorite youtuber i love her so much she just moved to arizona and her house is stunning Ning, and she has a double shower and it's so nice and her bathroom is massive it's just so beautiful definitely goals right there so um thank you courtney for having on your notifications i love you so very much if anybody else would like a notification shout out comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video also leave me a comment letting me know what is your necessity in your dream home i'm curious to what you guys have to say you might give me some ideas for when we move out. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.